Welcome back to the Mullen Performance Audio Channel. I uh, just got home from work. The wife uh, says, hey, you got a package today. I said, cool. And uh, I was expecting this because we had talked on the phone, or not talked on the phone, we talked in Messenger uh, about it. And uh, it's kind of out of the blue. Um, I got a present today. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see here. Focus, baby, focus. Well, it doesn't want to focus, but it says Williston Audio Labs. So, um, about a year ago, I had uh, messaged Derek. I said, hey, do you want to sell that amp you just made a video on? He said, yeah, I could probably sell it. Um, I had somebody interested in it, though, already. And uh, if that falls through, I'll let you know. I said, okay, cool. About six months ago, I messaged him back, hey, you know, um, guy ever get the amp? And he says, I think he's going to take it. And I said, all right. And then I seen him at finals, and we sat around. And I just got to say, uh, talking to uh, Derek and Rob, you know, two of the nicest dudes you can talk to. If you ever get a chance to talk to them, just talk to them. Just normal, hey, how you doing? How's your family? How's everybody been? You know, they're just two normal dudes going about their day, and uh, it just so happens that uh, they spend a lot of time in front of the camera, and people get to know them really well. So, uh, you know, just two of the nicest guys. We sat down in the lobby of the hotel, um, me and, uh, you know, Sean King, all those guys. I don't know if I said this on my last video. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't remember. All I know is that I had a great time talking to everybody. It was great. We sat around, we BS, and that was the best part of the whole weekend. And I don't know, I just I just keep reiterating, you know, finals was meh, but hanging out with everybody was the best part. Sometimes when you go to these shows, they're just a bust, and uh, that's the way it is, but you find people you can sit around and talk with, and it made the weekend a lot better. So, he just messaged me, and he's like, hey, are you interested in the amp? Cool. Yeah, I am. He says, okay. So, I bought this off me. So I figured we could do a live unboxing of what I bought. And uh, you guys might, uh, <laughs> of all the amps I could try to buy off Derek, um, this one was my very first amp. Uh, not, this, not this model, but this brand. Very first amp I've ever had. Uh, I would say I, my very first like car audio like big big name was a Rockford Fosgate was a punch 60 that was my very first you know I, I call this my I bought one of these at Target <laughs> so and uh, I had it in a car and I pushed a couple 12s with it it wasn't this like I said it wasn't this model but I pushed a couple 12s with it and it sounded all right and I think I don't remember guys this has been 35 years ago or whatever I don't know 30 30 years ago or so 30 years and um i don't remember what i did with it i don't know if i sold it i don't know if i blew it up i don't remember let me get you set up we'll do a live unboxing and we'll see how this goes so hold on one second here all right so oops don't fall off the the box guys yeah i know i'm never prepared never prepared so Let's see what we got. I have not opened this yet. Derek, I think Derek's one of those guys that he gets an amp and he saves the box and all the stuff that comes with it. I wish I was that person back in the day when I had all my Fosgate stuff. And uh, I kept all my... <laughs> it feels like this box has been taped a couple times. We all know he wraps his amps and everything. Ooh, kind of a snap-on box. Let's see what we got here. You know, I try to I try to ship things really well because I do not like to have things um, screwed up myself. And just like normal, he said, "Here we go, guys. The Jensen A four three two zero multi channel amplifier." Yes, I don't know why I just said it like that, but I did. Uh, 
<laughs> so apparently this has been wrapped up since his video a year ago. I don't want to snag the box. Um, let's try to get, let's try to break into this stuff. There we go. Um, I seen this amp and as soon as I seen it on his channel, I fell in love with it. And, uh, you know, I just, that blue man, that blue Jensen amp, you know, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this because I mean, it's really pointless to have. Other than, you know, just nostalgia. Because I'm really not going to use it for anything. But it's just going to go in my collection. And you guys know how that goes. You buy stuff. You don't always have to use the stuff you buy. But you want it. And that's how you end up with it. So, I don't know. You guys tell me what you want me to do with this. Should we hook it up to some speakers? These guys, I mean, obviously you guys can go to Derek's channel. And if I think about it, if I remember when I do the video, I'll link his video to this amp. And um, we'll uh, see what we can do. Maybe we can hook it up to some speakers. Maybe I could build a box and we can hook it up to that, a sub or something. I don't know. You guys tell me. Okay, so we got the foam. I know he said this was almost brand new when he got it. Or maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I'm pretty darn close, but man, he packed everything back in the way it was supposed to be packed. I think I'm doing more harm to, to everything than probably what everybody else did. We're kind of breaking foam here, but that's all right. Um... Man, Derek, you are thorough, man. I'll give you that. Uh, here's the plug, the high pass, or the high. Yeah. Yeah, we got, yep. Looks like there's some screws. You guys can see all this on his channel. I mean, I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this. You guys, you guys know. Look, he even wrapped. <laughs> even wrapped in the wrap. There, there, there. Man. I think Derek's more anal about keeping stuff wrapped up than I am. Oh, hey, we got the sheet for it too. Awesome. Derek, if you see this video, man, I would love if you put a book out. Oh, sorry. If you put a book out, dude, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. I, I would buy if you gave me an old school just directory. You know, Rob could, hey, Rob could come out with the uh, the wire gauge stuff. Like, I'd really love it if Rob came out with a wire gauge chart that I could stick on my wall of the different brands. Dude, that's, ooh, look. That is awesome. Sorry, guys. I'm kinda, I kind of like this just as much as I do the amp. <sighs> RMS power, one kilohertz test. Oh, you guys, you guys know all these numbers. You can go pause that or check out his channel because you guys know. Burst, 190, 184, 14.3. That was at uh, 4 ohms. That's at, that was at 40 hertz. At 1 kilohertz, it was 224 and 220. So, I mean, these amps put out, surprisingly enough, these amps put out rated. Right and, uh... Now he's still up the silica pack on the back and everything. There, man, I love you, dude. This is awesome. It's like Christmas for me. And then I'm just destroying it like I did when I was a child, just ripped into everything. I'm gonna have to get some of that uh, this wrap. I have it saved in my Amazon cart after you had uh, said something about it on one of your. Maybe it was like on 12 volt talk or whatever. Oh, God, the blue, man. The blue gets me. The blue gets me. This amp's, you know, never been mounted down. None of the screw holes have been touched. He's got everything wrapped back up. Man, Derek, you are awesome, dude.
25 amp fuses. I mean, Derek can do this amp more justice than I can, but now it's mine. That's awesome. Serial numbers, which I I won't show those. Uh, man, this thing is just this thing's just awesome. I'll try not to destroy it, but I'll hook it up to something. So there we go, guys. Is this my consider my first amp unboxing? I don't know. Um, maybe I'll put that back on it before I stick it back in the bag. But uh, yeah, I mean this is this is great, man. This is this is the first um, old school amp that I've bought. Like everything I have in my collection right now is uh, stuff I had, and uh, I take that back. I've bought some of these, like you know, I bought the pyramid stuff, but I was never really interested in the pyramid stuff. I mean, you give me some super blues and stuff like that, I'd be really excited. You give me a Jensen amp, whew, really excited. You give me a punch, power 250M in gray. Whew. Don't need no Viagra for that, boy. But, uh, all right, guys. Well, I am going to go back in the house and uh, molest this amp <laughs> a little bit more. Check everything out. Um, it looks like he's got, I don't know, I'll fidget around with it. He had it on three channel was the last thing he had it on. Uh, oh, I didn't get the caps, the rubber caps. Oh, well. Maybe they're in here. I don't know. Oh, well. Anyway. All right, guys. There's my first amp unboxing of a decent amp. <laughs> I've showed some of the other crappier stuff, but I'm really in love with this. Uh, again, you know, this amp is not huge, but man, that silk screen, you can feel it's kind of raised up. You, I don't know if you can hear. It's a little rough, a little, man, it's awesome. All right. Well, it's been, wow, 12 minutes. All right. This has gone on too long. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to try to do some, uh, um, screen, uh, not screenshot, thumbnails with this thing, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, <laughs> love you guys. Thank you to my patrons. You guys are all awesome. I will see you guys later.